when we talk about depression we must realize that depression is a syndrome it's not a diagnosis just like fever is a syndrome you can have tuberculosis fever typhoid fever viral fevers many different kinds of viral fever likewise depression is not a unitary construct there are many different kinds of depression depression can be a normal experience everybody is experienced depression that doesn't mean that the depression which everybody experiences is, is a illness depression can occur in psychiatry as an adjustment reaction to stress which can be brief or prolonged as an example grief death of a near or, or, or dear one loss of a large sum of money failure in an examination loss of a job these can all be stressors that trigger depression as an adjustment reaction living with an alcoholic spouse living in a state of financial deprivation these could trigger prolonged depressive reactions as an adjustment reaction depression could be secondary to medical or psychiatric comorbidities for example depression is common in patients with cancer particularly terminal cancer depression may occur as part of an endocrine disorder such as hypothyroidism depression can occur secondary to schizophrenia depression can occur in multiple sclerosis parkinson's disease depression can occur as a chronic condition running for years in the old days we used to call it characterologic depression or neurotic depression currently the term is a little more politically correct and we call it dysthymic disorder depression can be more severe it can come from biological neuroendocrinological and other changes in the brain and body we call that major depressive disorder and depression can be part of bipolar disorder where instead of being at the manic polar of illness the patient is in the depressed polar of illness the treatment for depression depends on what kind of depression the patient has hello everybody my name is Chitranjan Andrade I am a psychiatrist I used to be working as a senior professor in the department of clinical psychopharmacology and neurotoxicology at the National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences in Bangalore I retired from service very recently and presently I am working as a guest faculty for conceptual psychiatry I have a series of lectures for conceptual psychiatry and you can access these lectures at the conceptual psychiatry website mm -hmm.